<clears throat> what's going on? What's going on? Uh, what's going on, everybody? I'm giving people a few minutes to get up in here. <clears throat> Hoping everybody have a blessed and prosperous day. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I hope y'all excited about what's going on in this crypto market. I know I am. For the older y'all who are new and don't know me, my name is Deshaun Davis, aka D2, our golden child. I'm coming straight out of Richmond, Virginia. Um, I've been investing in crypto since about 2017-ish. Yeah, about 2017 when I first learned about Bitcoin. And I've been an enthusiast ever since because I know there's no denying it. The wave is here. The future is now. And this is the future of money. Um, I have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old. And by the time they get 18, man, I don't even see it being any paper money, probably way before then. So I'm gonna give people a few more seconds to jump on and I'm gonna dive straight in. Swing trade I got on GBP USD. Get that entry, perfect entry. Get the entry though, entry on this candle right here. But <clears throat> I'm about to dive straight into it. All right, so a lot of people are curious and just want to know what is cryptocurrency what is it they hear about it you see it everywhere you must be living under a rock if you haven't heard of it but it's a form of payment that can be exchanged online for goods and services so basically it's a form of payment right and all cryptocurrency payments occur through the blockchain and people might wonder well what is the blockchain it's a system of it's a system recording information in a way that is difficult to damage i mean it's difficult to uh, that is difficult or damn near impossible to hack, cheat, or change. And this is going to revolutionize uh, so many industries. This is going to revolutionize so many industries. What's going on, bro? So <clears throat> bring you up to speed, uh, what is cryptocurrency? You know, cryptocurrency is a form, is a payment that can be exchanged online for goods and services. We all know that. If you haven't heard of cryptocurrency, you had to be living under the bridge. So all transactions in cryptocurrency occur on the blockchain. And most people don't know what the blockchain is. The blockchain is a system that's recording information in a way so it can't be hacked, altered, or cheated. And this is going to revolutionize so many different industries because say in the music industry, for example, you will have they have con you have uh, Ethereum smart contracts to where nothing and nobody can alternate alter or change that contract is uh, you can't get cheated out your money for example, and then in the crypto market they have coins and tokens. See a lot of people confuse everything for a coin, but it's a difference between coins and tokens. A crypto coin is just essentially just digital money, where is a token is an asset, for example. Um, I'm going to get into this later, but say Binance, for example. Binance is a cryptocurrency exchange, and exchange lets you buy and sell crypto on there. Well, Binance has its own token, which is the BNB Binance token, and you can use that token to exchange on that platform. Would that make sense to you? And then, for example, you might see 
people talk about Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin. All those are coins. They are used for money. Then you have your BNB, your Via Chain, your Tether, where all those are tokens. And they are assets. They hold value. They hold more value in them. And you just hold the nose opposed and trying to sell them. Then people ask, okay, where do you buy crypto? You buy it from these different exchanges, for example, Coinbase, KuCoin, Binance. Those are three that I personally use, right? And then you might come across the question, okay, well, where do you store your Bitcoin or your cryptocurrency? They have a paper wallet because uh, they have private keys. And the private keys are a 12, a randomized 12 word phrase that is uh, randomly made up. And then you, that is your password to your wallet. So <clears throat> the thing with uh, crypto is it's, a de it's decentralized. So meaning that is no middleman. It's taking the bank out of it. You are your own bank. So there is no 1-800 uh, number to call. There is no support. There is no fraud system. You are 100% responsible for the ownership of your cryptocurrency. So then, um, like I said, you have your uh, paper wallets and you have your offline USB wallet. Then you have your hardware wallet. And I would dive more into that on the next segment. I give examples of each one, which ones I personally use. So now I'm going to hop over here to these charts. So one of my favorite places to look and to research coins is coinmarketcap.com. Make sure you write that down, coinmarketcap.com. All right, then it'll show you the, it's rating the top crypto coins. So you can see, so let's do Shiba Inu, for example. And this will give you a nice, nice breakdown of everything you need to know. Oh, this is another thing. Please write this down. Make sure that you read the white papers on these coins. Because don't get me wrong, a lot of, it's a lot of opportunity out here, but the crypto market is still the wild, wild west. You will get your ass finessed quick. Um, if you keep up with crypto news, they had a coin that came out called the Squid Coin. And it was based off this. They rolled the Squid Game hype or whatever. They created a digital coin. And it ran up to like, I want to say like $4,000 from zero cent to $4,000 in a matter of hours. And it went right back down to zero. So a lot of people tried to um, get in on the hype and they ended up getting burned in the end. So yeah, you want to make sure you come through, read your white papers, then they'll tell you, it'll take you to the official website of the token. And if you was in my... Um, you was in my forum, D2IFS group, and you know, we caught Shiba Inu months ago. We caught Shiba Inu right when uh, Elon Musk was on Saturday, Saturday Night Live. Yeah, we caught this months ago. But then you still give you a good breakdown. It'll tell you what's the purpose of the coin, what they got going on. And if you missed the beginning, this call, I mean, this Zoom call is going to be recorded. I'm going to post it on Facebook and Instagram, so you can definitely check it out. See, then, you know, you got the Shiba Inu, they got Leash, they got Bone. But let's go back to Coin Market Cap. And then I'm going to do a segment two. I'm still doing my homework, but this NFT space is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'll probably speak on that next Monday, on next Monday call. But yeah, man, this NFT space is crazy. I'm talking about it's insane. Like people are becoming wealthy overnight. It's crazy. Um, if you're a fan of music, Money Man, he just dropped his blockchain project. He dropped it as an NFT. Tory Lane changed the game with that. So if you in the music, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you look into dropping your uh your music, your uh merchandise, all that stuff. You can drop it as NFTs. I highly suggest looking into that. And then another thing you want to look into is tradingview.com. And this is where you do all your chart work and technical analysis at. So let's look at Bitcoin right quick.
I'm going to do a very, very quick walk up on Bitcoin right quick. So this is the daily chart. So what you're looking at, every candlestick represents a day. Then they got the four hour chart. Each candle represents four hours all the way down to one minute. Each candle represents one minute. So we're just going to look at the uh, daily outlook on Bitcoin. You see we're in the major uptrend. Zoom out twice. Well, as you know, Bitcoin been in a hell of an uptrend. I know everybody wish they would have got in at 3000 30000 We probably will never see a $30,000 Bitcoin again. Draw my Fibonacci retracement on it. And this is just a tool that's going to show me to how far can I anticipate the price of Bitcoin coming down to for a correction. So the furthest I anticipate seeing Bitcoin pulling down to is somewhere up in this area. That's 53,000. That's the furthest we can see Bitcoin drop for what I see. And then we're going to pull out our our Fibonacci extension so we can see where price is going. I'm still bullish on Bitcoin. If you not bullish on Bitcoin, you're tripping. And then go on the wheel. And since we at all time highs, we breaking new levels, the extension tool helps us be able to see where price could potentially be going. And this is based off the Fibonacci ratio. Uh, I'm not going to dive too deep into it, but definitely look it up, Google it, do your homework on it. So our next price point I'm seeing for Bitcoin is about 78000 And no, it's not going to be a straight shot there, but it's definitely coming here. And then from 78,000, our next level is 83,000. Then like 88,000. And like I said, it's not going to be a, a straight shot type of deal. You know, the market moves. Let me see what I'm looking for. As you know, if you don't know, the market don't just move straight up. You don't want to see the market go straight up. Because if it goes straight up, what is it going to have to do? Come straight back down. So you want to see the market move consistently. Now you can see higher highs, lower, low, lower high, higher high, lower high, higher high, lower high. You want to see the market keep creating higher highs. So right now, we in a we're gonna see a little pullback. We're gonna see the market do something like this. Come down. That's when you buy them. When you hear people always say buy the dip, this is what they mean when they say buy the dip. Because it's in the uptrend, but it's going to correct itself. That's when you buy more. You buy on the red days. And then we're gonna see price go boom or something like that. All the way up until. 78,000. So I'm going to open the floor up. Let me see who's in here. I'm going to open the floor up. Do anybody have any questions just in case you might have missed something or I might have been going too fast? I don't want to miss nobody. I want to make sure I'm able to answer everybody's questions. And there's no such thing as a dumb question because this is something foreign to everybody. So there's no such thing as a dumb question. I don't feel embarrassed to ask your question. Uh, what's going on for the people that just hopped in? I just basically went over what is cryptocurrency, a form of payment that can be exchanged for online goods and services. Um, all crypto transactions occur on the blockchain. The blockchain is simply a system that's uh, that's difficult to hack or damn near impossible to cheat or change. Then I explained the difference between coins and tokens. 
basically the coin is the money, the token is the asset, where it's a value of crypto is the crypto exchanges like Binance, KuCoin, Coinbase, Crypto.com is a good one too. And then where to store your crypto. You know, we have paper wallets. Once you receive your private keys, oh, definitely write this down. If you do not own the private keys, you do not own the Bitcoin. So I tell people all the time, do not go on Robinhood buying no Bitcoin. That's made to trade on Robinhood. Do not go on Robinhood trying to buy Bitcoin the whole long term. Because what you can, what will happen is, that's why I was putting capital letters. Do not leave your money on the exchange. You have to get you a wallet or a DeFi wallet. Because what will happen is, uh, if your money is on the exchange and that exchange get hacked, you just shit out of luck. There's no customer service, nobody to call. You just out of luck. And um, shit, I, well, what, what, um, yo, what was it? It might have been, it might have been KuCoin. I know I had like, six light coins on there and they got hacked and that was one of the worst feelings ever because there's nothing you can do about it then you want to go over to crypto i mean coinmarketcap.com and this is where you do your research on the coins so say uh let's say safe more So you'll go here, the first thing you want to go, okay, you'll go to their website and then see me personally, I always, when that comes to investing in crypto, I always ask myself, what problem does it solve or what does it bring to the crypto ecosystem? And then you have your coins like uh, Dogecoin and um, Shiba Inu, which is have strong communities. They have strong community that's going to push that price. They believe in that coin. Um, I got in Shiba Inu really early, but normally, typically, I don't, well, I wouldn't say invest in meme coins, but shit. Now it was like, you just got to have an exit route. Don't, everything is not a buy and hold forever coin. Let me say that. Like Bitcoin, you buy and hold that forever. Ethereum, you can buy and hold that forever. Litecoin, you can buy and hold that forever. Cardano, buy and hold that forever. But uh, stuff like Safe Moon, for example, uh, it's kind of iffy. And then they give you all the trending coins and tokens. Twitter is a good spot to start um, just following up with crypto news. It's a uh, website i mean it's a youtube page write this down called altcoin buzz altcoin buzz they're a good one i'm gonna type it in so you can see it altcoin buzz on youtube great channel to follow it's pretty it's pretty much like one of the only youtube channels that i follow i've been following them since 2017 and what a lot of people are do on YouTube is these coins will pay YouTubers and influencers to try to pump the coin. So out of everyone that I follow and seen online with the crypto, I say all coin buzz, man, they've been solid. They don't take endorsements. So definitely follow them. And then they have... And I'm looking for, oh, here we go. You can also come here. <clears throat> oh, and if you don't have Coinbase, what we create you a Coinbase account, they got Coinbase Learn, and you can actually earn up to like 60 to $100 in crypto. And then you can always exchange it back to Bitcoin and transfer it over and all that. And you have any questions about any of that type of stuff, my inbox is always open. Like I truly want to, 
help us get involved in this industry and this wealth show and this wealth shift, my bad. <laughs> Cause it's happening. So look, they got to earn right here. You can learn and earn. So definitely you're not doing shit tonight. Get on crypto.com, go to earn and get paid to learn. Another uh, place I suggest is Reddit. If you don't have a Reddit, get you a Reddit. That's where all the nerds at, man. They talking about money on there. Like take a little bit of time off Facebook, take a little bit of time off Instagram and go hop in them forums. Forms. They talking about money in there. Like I know y'all remember when that whole um, AMC, GME, GameStop run happened? It started in Reddit with that Wall Street bets. So by the time the news get it, it's already late. Normally that news, it go from the forums to Twitter, then it get blasted out everywhere. But Reddit is like the first place. I'm gonna, uh, let me see, let me pull up my Reddit right quick. I'm gonna drop a couple groups y'all should join. Hold on. And then get a uh, pen and paper. I'm going to tell you all the apps that I use too. Wall Street Bets, Crypto Pumpers. That yeah, should sound wild on it, but they talking about money over there, man. And then the apps that I use. Crypto.com. And this is a sleeper, man. If you was in my group, do you know we've been on crypto.com since last year when it was at like seven, eight cents? Man, that thing just skyrocketed. Oh, it was over four to three cents last time I looked at it. Because crypto.com, them one of my buying holes because I like them because they're partnered with the NFL, they partner with the U, um, UFC, and they actually have a whole. I'm going to pull it up right quick. But well, crypto.com, Coinbase, Pancake Swap. Well, let me say Trust Wallet first. Pancake Swap. Oh, what's the other one? Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, the crypto dot com DeFi wallet. And Coinbase Pro. So these are all the apps that I used for my crypto um, investing. You can take a screenshot of this. Matter of fact, I'm going to zoom down so I can take a screenshot of it. So Where do you get a paper wallet? A paper wallet is like, so once you get your um, private keys, they give you those um, 12 phrases. So the paper wallet is you just simply, you just writing it down and not having it like screenshot on your phone. Because say if your phone get hacked, then they can have your wallet if they get into, able to get into your phone. So the paper wallet, essentially, you write it down on a piece of paper and hide it somewhere, like a safe deposit wait, box or something. What'd you say, bro? Where you get the keys? Once you create the wallet, they're going to um, they give it to you. So say, for example, once you go... What's the first step? Long story short, what's the first step to getting the wallet? The first step is I suggest you start at Coinbase. Then you can get you some free money, 
or you can just start. You can start at any one of these exchanges. Well, I suggest Crypto.com. Crypto.com. Because I start. I started on. Um, I got a little bit. I got a couple dollars on Coinbase and a couple dollars on. Uh, hold on. On my other phone. I just got a new phone and shit. Hold on. That y'all dead, ain't it? No, I mean, no, I just I ain't have it on me because no, I had a fuck with you, bro. I see you post some shit like that. Your shit always be dead. It do. It, do. it <laughs> might be for real, for real. I don't even know that bitch at. It, it, I, uh, hold on, let me see. No, it's, it's actually got a little life to it. Hold on. Coinbase and Uphold. Yeah, Uphold good too. That's another good one. So those are like wallets? Yeah. So as long as they own there, you good? Yeah, but then you see like with Uphold, they should have gave you a 12 word phrase when you started it. Boy, I, boy. <laughs> I was uh, going to ask you like... <laughs> I'm gonna get your number when we uh when you done with this shit because I wanna talk to you about them NFTs and shit. I bet. I'm gonna let you rock out though. I was just I just no, I was you go ahead, ask away. That's the best way to learn is to ask questions. I'm if I'm gonna uh see you my number now on Instagram. How the fuck do you? I got it. Um. I got to uphold. Oh, ain't no way I could look at it from in this uh, app, my password or whatever. Nah. So it don't even say nothing about no wallet, though. On coin, I mean, on uphold. Because that is the wallet. Okay. That makes sense to you. That is the wallet. Uh. I'm trying to log into my uphold joint. I got this on my old phone. Oh, that's another one too. I like um Atomic Wallet is good too. And you can buy crypto from the uh, Atomic Wallet. I'm yeah, asking. yeah. And then I'm gonna um I'm gonna do a screen record so it'll be easy to show you this shit on my phone. I got all this shit on my phone, so I'm gonna do a screen record I can send to you too. But then, like I was saying, I really like um, the main one I've really been using is the crypto.com junk. I just got that on my phone, too. I ain't even, I ain't bought nothing on there. It's like, I, I mean, I want to get in this shit, but I don't, I don't be knowing. Like, And then it's like, um, well, I'm going to make a post about that, John, but it's like, see, right now with everything going on with this metaverse shit, it's like, you got your tokens like, um, matter of fact, go ahead and write this, John, I'm going to tell you all the coins that I'm really looking into right now. Um, it's called Mana. Man, hold on. Are you showing it right now? I'm not looking. Hold on. No. Nah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna type. It? I'm gonna type it. All right. Um, Mana engine crypto.com. That's they say mama. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm trying to help. <laughs> yeah, my like, what? I'm confused. Is that it? Litecoin, Polygon, of course, Shiva. I was about to say, I heard something about the Sheba shit. And Sheba's lit, bro. It's like, it's supposed to start off as a meme coin, like how Dodge, like Dodge, Dogecoin really has no purpose. 
that shit started out as a joke. And then the community actually grew to a community and grew a following. So they just pump it up. But like dope with Shiva Inu, for example, they actually have an exchange. Like, hold, let me go back to it. I can show you that joke. So they actually have an exchange. They actually have a purpose. They actually, like they're gonna have, I'm gonna show you, they got an exchange. So you can shop, you can, um, and then, oh, another thing too that you need to look into is staking. So it's basically like you are earning interest on your crypto by just sitting there. And you know, the bank ain't gonna get a nigga but less than 1%. Man, we talking 10, 12, 14% return on your uh, money, man. So it's and that's definitely, you said Weber, I couldn't hear you. And you said that's what? And that's called staking. Staking. Staking, yeah. So you see crypto staking, like in this um when you get a chance, just go into your crypto.com app and just like play around with it, and you'll see where it off you staking. It's like I'm trying to look at your shit and play on this phone at the same time. It's weird. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Let me go to the sheet with y'all. Uh, don't do me like this. Oh, it's another good one too, Solana. This gonna be an Ethereum killer. Because what's, what's the downside to Ethereum is these fucking high-ass gas fees. So you might be trying to buy something worth $500, but then you're going to end up having to pay $250 in gas fees. So it's like, God damn. So that's the downside to Ethereum. But what the fuck? Did I do all this shit already? What the fuck? I don't know what I was playing from. Oh. Oh, yeah. Polka dot, another good one. Well, basically, you can go this whole top 20 list right here are all good investments. Are you showing them right now? Yeah, I'm about to. Yeah, I'm showing them right now. Hold on, because I'm trying to be like I said, I'm trying to I'm trying to be on crypto.com and I can't see what you talking about, because I, I, like I said, I literally just got crypto.com before before we had this conversation, but in like the last two days. <clears throat> I'm going to just go through the list of this top 10 right here. And of course, we already know Bitcoin is like, Bitcoin is digital gold. And then we got the Ethereum, which is right under Bitcoin. Then we got, uh, and see, Ethereum, they good because they got the smart contracts and stuff like that. And most of these NFTs and stuff like that is all through the Ethereum network. But the problem with that is them damn gas fees. And then see the Binance coin. This is uh, the number one Asian cryptocurrency exchange. Because a lot of volume from the crypto market come from Asia, Korea, Japan, and all that shit over there. It looked like it's, that that market's been going down. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm not saying that you wrong or nothing. I was just saying, like, what I'm looking at this chart that Binance coin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the whole market. Um, this time the best like uh re re. I mean, blah, blah, blah. my bad. It's uh correcting itself, so it's gonna go up, come down a little bit, go up, come down, go up, come down. 
And you say buy when it's down. Yeah, you want to buy when it's red. You don't want to buy at the top. You want to buy at the bottom. Then I like um, Cardano. Actually, this is a great one because Twitter is working on a partnership with Cardano. So Twitter is trying to work on being the first decentralized social media platform. And then XRP, I like them. Well, they work directly with the banks. So the banks will be planning on using XRP when they sending their money over. So you know how normally a typical wire transfer would take shit 10 days or something like that. Then they got to pay all this extra shit. With XRP, the banks is able to transfer money within seconds and it only cost them cents. So we talking about billions of dollars. They're able to send billions of dollars in seconds and only cost them pennies. And it was talks of um, XRP supposed to be having a partnership with Western Union coming up, but I'm going to look into that as well. So yeah, let's go on here and then go look at the top 20 coins. Well, on top 21, see the crypto.com is at 44 cents. I first got in on this on at like six, seven cents. For real, if we say the top 30, I like the top 30 coins for real. I don't know about Filecoin. I have to look into that. But let's say Solana, for example. And then it'll just tell you, like, then it'll tell you all the stats right here, like the price, how much 24 hour change, how much trade and volume is had. Because you see, in the price change, it went down $10 in 24 hours, but the trade and volume is up 44%. That's how you know you're still in the bullish market. Oh, I got 10 minutes. And I'm going to do one of these every Monday. Then, like I said, you got any questions throughout the day, week, man, hit me up. And then, like I say, it'll give you all the news going on with each coin. Then you get, it'll give you info on the project. So I'll tell you how many Twitter followers it got. And then see by the Twitter and the Reddit, it'll let you know the popularity of the coin. Now you see right here, this one got 900,000 on Twitter. See, I didn't even see how you got to this shit. I just, I just switch back. Oh, my, you just go to coinmarketcap.com. Hold on. I'm on. All right. I'm gonna show you what it looks like soon as you, but then I'm on the computer too. So you do it on your phone, it's gonna be the mobile the version. Computer. That's why that's why I'm on the computer. I'm trying to do I I said fucking I'm gonna try to watch this shit, but do it on my computer, whatever I need, put it in my notes on my computer and all that shit. I got a MacBook. I'm on crypto.com though right now. I mean crypto um, coin market cap. All right, bet. So then when you first go there, it's gonna look like this. And then you gonna see all the coins right here. But then I say NFTs. Let me see what this is right here. I never click on NFTs over here. Okay, word. I like how they do this. So, <clears throat> so now they're going. You click NFTs, and they're going to show you all the coins associated with NFTs. And see, I said that man of the central land. This is like a big game in junk. Which one? 
Decentraland, that M A N A, Mana. He said it's a gaming joke. Cause I yeah. Did That's another thing I was. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn some of this shit. Cause I mean, you know, shit. I done heard some things. I done seen a nigga put twelve hundred in and come out with fourteen bands. Hell yeah, for real. Shit is crazy. He was on the Dogecoin, but. See, I'm about to find out all about these percentages and all that shit. Like, I don't know what I'm looking at right now. I just see a whole bunch of numbers and percentages. Yeah, so you're gonna get it. It's just um, you got you're gonna get it. It ain't uh, you ain't gonna learn it overnight, but it ain't hard either though. Don't let your mind psych yourself out. It ain't hard. You just gotta start breaking that shit down. And then I'm gonna shoot you um, yeah, I'm gonna inbox you some information and stuff too, some shit you can look at on your own time. But then you should like right here, once you go here, it break down, you gotta click. Like you can just go ahead and read more. Then it'll tell you like what each coin does. <laughs> or you can just always YouTube, you know what I'm saying? If you don't feel like reading and doing all this shit. I know some people rather just listen to the audio. Let me see what's on. Anybody else got any more questions? Oh, and this is another Jones. I just checked it because they got free airdrops. They got little airdrops as well. Uh, they give away free crypto. See, like right here, this one, they giving away 150 NFTs. So when you say they're giving away 150 NFTs, what can you do with the 150 NFT? Like, so like, what is an NFT? An NFT is a non-fungible token. So basically it's, uh, why, why can I explain it? Uh, So you've been doing this crypto shit for a minute? Yeah, I've been studying it since like 2017. What would yeah. you say brought the most, um, the best uh, outcome so far? Um, Bitcoin off top. But then it's like the real one like, is- it's, um, it, I, it's funny because I feel like I'm too late for Bitcoin. Nah, you ain't too late. But I still would have it, and I still would have it in my portfolio. But now you ain't too late because the thing is, it's only going to be forty uh, million, no, forty billion Bitcoin made or whatever, and they already done made like they probably it's probably like they said by that two thousand twenty four, there gonna be no more Bitcoin ever made, and that's how this is the uh, how you hedge inflation. Because you know with paper with money, they're gonna keep printing that shit. With Bitcoin, once it's done, it's done. So then it's the then that's when the value of it's gonna skyrocket. Like we're gonna Bitcoin's easily gonna be over worth over a hundred, maybe two hundred thousand, ten years from now, five years from now, ten years from now. And then like see with NFTs, it's like they it's like a one-on-one type of thing. So look at it like you got the you got a mix, you got a song, and you can't get it. I'm say for example, okay, you got a single you putting out, you only putting out a thousand copies of this single. 
after that thousand copies gone, it's over. So with the Tory Lane shit, everyone he he made a million dollars in one minute because everybody heard him went and bought it with hopes to resell it for way more. Cause once it's gone, it's gone. Man, it's so crazy. Like, see, I know you be on the Call of Duty game and jump. I seen a dude um, make his, like, he highlighted his kills, the best kills, and made that shit an NFT, bro. Yeah, see, I don't, uh, like, that Like that right there kind of confuses me. Like, so what do you do with that? See, it's a kid, like, <clears throat> say, for example, you might find a, a gaming community to where that's what they into. And then say for example, you had a uh say for example that you had a high twitch, say your twitch joint was booming like the nigga ninja and all that shit. So then people would buy that clip, that NFT clip of ninja's top 10 kills or whatever. They'll buy that and hold it and resell it. So they might pay they might pay five thousand for it, but man, this NFT shit is crazy. I'm talking, you might pay five thousand for it, but you might can resell that bitch for a hundred thousand, a M. Like if you go on, let me go to, let me try to go to crypto.com, John. Because I really want to drop my music as an NFT, but I don't really know, you know what I'm saying? The whole, I just, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I just a lot of people been saying it to me, but you should drop. It'd be a bunch of people, but I get a lot of engagement on my gram. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Yeah, I already know. And a lot of people be like, um, bro, you should start doing NFTs. You should do what Tory Lanez did. And I'm like, shit, I don't know nothing about that shit for real. Well, I'm a, um, I'm still like doing my homework, like the crypto shit. I know that like the back of my hand. <laughs> I'm still learning this NFT shit all the way. I'm still trying to figure out how to create my own NFT. I'm trying to get with a graphic designer and really turn that shit up. But as far as the music part, I'm gonna do some homework and I'm gonna definitely, definitely, definitely let you know, nigga. Cause I'm going, I want the mixtape, nigga. God damn, man. We waiting on, man. See that? So boom. See, see, I ain't trying to fuck your whole shit up, but I can tell you about that. Boom, bro. Like, no, look, this jump about the call, but hit me on. Um, I'm gonna message you on the ground. All right. But yeah, this jump about to cut off in like one minute. Yeah, I'm trying, bro. It's bro. It, it, music, bro. It's the right way to do things. It's like niggas always ask me how, why, and where I'm supposed to be. It's because I wasn't doing it the right way. You know what I'm saying? In all actuality, you right, you are right where you're supposed to be, right where you're supposed to be, right?